Yeah, Coach Russell, I'm just going to show you a couple of the different pad holding positions that you can use in the striking pad. So you use these tie pads and these focus mitts all the time for the class. We'll start off with the focus mitts. So when you have these on, you always have the mitts facing you. It's the center dot on the mitt that you see right there. That's the call for your partner to throw a punch. Where you hold the mitt is going to determine what punch they throw. So if I hold up facing me like this, this is for a straight punch. If I hold it turned in like this, this is for a hook at about shoulder height. And when I hold for an uppercut, the palm faces the ground. Those are the three basic holds that you're going to use for all of the striking. You may also hold for a low hook or body hook at times. Again, you've got the straight punch on either side, hook punches on either side, low hook punches on either side, and the uppercuts. You're going to hold one at a time so you're very clear with your partner what you want them to throw. They're going to be reacting as soon as they see that dot. Also, you want to move around a little bit between each throw. So I freeze as I hold for my partner to hit, but then I'm back to moving. That's basic pad holding. As you get more advanced, you might provide them a moving target or things like that. But for now, move around, freeze and hold, move, freeze and hold. And you may go through combinations where you go straight, straight, hook, etc. The tie pads work very similar. When you wear these pads, you want to have the straps loose so that they just slip over your wrist. And you can run your hand through and grab the anchor on the end and curl in a little bit with your thumb on the outside. This creates an arch for the form so you're transferring the shock of the kick right to the skeleton instead of taking it on your forearms. Now when I hold here, this is neutral with the pads resting on my hips. These things don't kick me. When I turn to the side and hold up like this, this is the cue for my partner to throw a kick. They're going to be kicking up towards my abdomen, so I'm bracing the pads here. This is where I want to hold every time. It doesn't matter how tall they are, always face of the pads brace against the hips, elbows in, and ankle by. Neutral, hold for a kick on the other side. If I want to hold for a knee, I cross the pads one over the top and brace my arms against my body. This way if I take a hard hit, it's just anchoring all the force. I don't have to worry about a pad flying up and clipping my chin or something like that. One other option is for a long knee or a foot jab when they're pushing so on that, I'm going to stack the pads. Here's this one, brace against my stomach. And then I stack the other pad on top of it so they've got a nice, solid surface. You can see that they're braced against my body. That's the basis of pad holding. We'll review this a few times before your first class.